Hey, thanks for joining me today. This is Pastor Lafayette, and it is Tuesday. We are in Luke chapter 12, verse 13, reading out of the New King James Version of the Bible. So let's get started this morning. Then one from the crowd said to him, uh, him being Jesus, Teacher, <clears throat> tell my brother to divide the inheritance with me. Now, now right off the bat, we're going to say, well, it's, it's supposed to be like that. That should happen. You know, he's just trying to get someone to help him out here because his, uh, <coughs> his brother's trying to cheat him. Verse 14. But he said to him, man, who made me a judge or an arbitrator over you? And he said to them, take heed and beware of covetousness. For one's life does not consist in the abundance of the things he possesses. Now, we've done a flip-flop somehow in the United States, and we think that the man who uh, dies with the most toys wins, and the fact is, means absolutely zero. Sure, it's fun to have things to play on. It's fun to have uh, motorcycles and boats and four-wheelers. It's fun to have things like that. I get it. Uh, I enjoy them as well. Uh but he is warning this brother over covetousness. Now, we don't know what's going on, but Jesus is able to discern. He discerns something in the brother's uh, request that made him say, beware of covetousness. Beware of wanting something that someone else has, of always wanting something more. Beware of always wanting the other person's thing because you all, you, there's a, a sense of jealousy, <clears throat> covetousness that says, what I have isn't enough. I always want a little bit more. I want what they have. <clears throat> Uh, as as a comparison, I want that. I want what they possess. You know, it's one thing to say to yourself, you know, it'd be nice to eat something every week besides bologna. And say, man, I'd, I'd like to have, uh, I wish every once in a while we could afford some hamburger. And actually, I wish every once in a while we could afford steak. But, it, it's tiring of eating bologna every day and ramen noodles every night. Now, my friend, I don't, I, I, mean, I mean, you might differ, but I don't see that as covetousness. I think there's nothing wrong with desiring to have better things. But when your better things are always focused on someone else, when it's you see, you, you're driving a nice car, you love your car, you picked your car out and you like it. But the minute you see someone else drive up in something better, it's like, wow, wish I could afford one of those. Wish I had one of those. And I, I think sometimes that, 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 that is such a, it's such a negative statement about us that we can't be satisfied even when we pick it out, even when we buy it, even when we, we got it and, we're, and we've been happy with it up till a certain point, And then we see someone with something else, it's like we want to one-up them. A family member gets something, and we've been happy up until they got something, and then we want what they want, or want what they have. Jesus said, beware of covetousness. There's a parable we'll get into tomorrow. Talks about talks a little bit about this, and it's going to be great. But I want to encourage you. The Lord is not anti-hard work and earning money and buying things. That's not true at all. But to be a person who's never satisfied with what you have, to always feel like you're either owed something more or deserve something more. Listen, if you want finer things, then you're going to have to figure out a way to earn finer things. Then do something with your life or with education or with your job to be able to improve your income. But see, even there becomes a problem. Why do we want more money? 
again, we're going to get into this tomorrow in the parable, but I want to leave you with a statement that I heard once. Uh, someone said that Jesus is never opposed to us having money, but he's very opposed to money having us. Pray with me. Father, help us, Lord, to <coughs> not become jealous, envious, covetousness, covetous over people and the possessions they have. Lord, teach us. Teach us, Lord, how to be wise stewards with our money and how to earn or gain, Father. Uh, but, Father, let us not be the people who do all that just so we can look good or just so that we might have uh, some kind of established uh, image. Father, help us to understand the corruptness of covetousness. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Thanks for joining me today. Bye-bye.